all the publicity we've had over the last few days, some of which we'd rather not have had, but it certainly helped us make sure that we've got loads and loads of people here in the borders to welcome the Flying Scotsman to our region. And really good news that we've been able to salvage the day and make sure that everyone who was looking forward to it can come and have a great big borders party. What Phil Vester did is resolve licensing issues in 24 hours that Network Rail have had 12 weeks to solve. I, I think it was unbelievable Friday night. I, I've never experienced anything like it. Um, we had to do a huge amount of work working with ScotRail and others to try and salvage the situation. All of us up until 2 o'clock in the morning, numerous conference calls, nobody could believe that this had happened and we simply had to make sure that this problem was solved and that we got the train into the borders and that's exactly what ScotRail did. Let's just say he got a hold of Network Rail, he sat them round a table, he basically found out what the problems were, he got a hold of engineers, he put them on the ground and he solved the problems and he basically said this trip has to happen and ScotRail are going to make it happen. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? It was on, it was off, it was on, it was off. Somebody at the uh, council said, I feel like the grand old Duke of York. I marched them up to the top of the hill, I marched them down again and we're back up and the sun's shining. And, and it's magnificent. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's, uh, I've never seen as many people out to see a train in all my life. I've been on quite a lot of these trips, but I've never seen anything like today. The building of this line and the re rebuilding of this engine it makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm.